Good evening. Good evening, teacher. I checked the blackboard because the certificate. Oh, really? Could you get no, it? Right now. <laughs> okay, how oh, you were checking right now. Okay, that's good. I see my fan is very noisy and there is no way that I can avoid that noise. <laughs> so I'm ready to turn it up. Good evening, Byron. Good evening. Hello. Hi, how are you doing today? A little bit tired, actually. <laughs> I don't know. A, first, lot of work. a lot of work. Yeah. I'm still doing it. Some reports that I had to send before midnight. <laughs> you have deadline. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Yeah, yesterday we were talking about that. No worries. I, I totally understand. Yeah, so. Yeah. <laughs> Teacher, I checked right now the blackboard and I can see the certificate. So you're not able to see or download the certificate. Oh so you know. Okay, and the rest of you, has anybody else tried to download the certificate? Has anybody else tried to download the certificate? I tried, but over the phone, but it's not showing the, the certificate. Okay. Yeah. Hey, All right, so we're going to report it again and uh, um, I'm going to ask tomorrow in the chat that we have as a group um, so you can reply to me, right? I'm going to ask you, hey, guys, were you able to download your certificates? <laughs> Please, don't cost me. No me vayan a dejar en visto. Yeah, that's a word. Yeah, but it, it's going to be like a reminder, right, that you have to report it in the group. And if not, if it doesn't work, we are going to um to ask directly to the coordinator but yes uh, before doing that we're going to try it in the whatsapp group that we have because i tried twice in the chat that we have uh, for teachers and coordinators so i reported the incident twice and it's they told me that they were going to check to today in the morning and yesterday was the same so probably it's it's not fixed yet, that problem. But we will continue working on that. Okay, so we have a couple of people here. We're going to, well, yesterday we stopped here. Um, and we were going to ask these questions. Um, the idea was to work on this in groups, but a few people has joined the section. So uh, we are going to make it as a whole. So I'm going to ask and you will reply, I enjoy it, I don't mind it, or I hate it. I'm going to start and then you're going to continue. Um, and let's see, Andrea. Andrea, how do you feel about asking for help? I hate it. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you can ask the next to the another classmate. Uh, uh, Selecciono a alguien? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, entonces. Mm, mm, Gerardo, using a computer? Uh, how do you feel about using a computer? I enjoy it. Good. Okay, continue, Gerardo. Too bad. 
Byron. How do you feel about leading a team? Well, actually, that's my joy, my job, so I enjoy it. <laughs> okay, cool. Continue, Byron. Okay, just I'm going to check the list. Stephanie. Yes. How do, how do you feel about traveling? I enjoy it. Okay, Stephanie, continue. Okay. Uh, Jesus Bautista. How do you feel about creating a spaceship? Mm, well, I don't mind. I don't mind. Okay, Jesus, continue. Ruben, are you there? Ruben? No. Maybe he's not there, so you can ask okay, another Yes, I'm question. here. Okay. Okay. Ruben, how do you feel about Sorry, talking I'm on the phone? Sorry, did you hear me? Maybe he's having issues with the audio, so you can ask another classmate. Okay, David, David Martinez. Mm. How do you feel about talking on the phone? Um, I enjoy it. Okay. Uh, it's my turn, I think. Yes. Okay. Um, let me check. Uh, Joanna Aguilar. Uh, Joanna, no. how, do you, how do you feel working with people? I don't mind. I don't mind it. Okay, Joanna, continue. Okay. Um, let's see. Andrea. Andrea, um, how, how do you feel about meeting deadlines? What, what is deadlines? Limite de tiempo. Ah, oh, ah, oh, sí, sí. Um, I hate it too. <laughs> okay, continue, Andrea. Um, uh, Cristina Mejia, how do you feel about manage? Mm. Hey, we Come are on. working. Working. Ah, working, working, working on the weekend. Um, uh, yeah. for me, I don't probably uh, working of the weekend because my husband, uh, uh, his day off is um, Friday. So he works on weekends too? Yes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Continue. You can ask another classmate the next question. Um, um, David Martinez, how do you feel telling people what to do working with numbers? Managing. Uh, I think you missed that last two. And we are in this one, managing money. Ma okay, managing money. How uh, do you feel about? How do you feel about managing money? Um, I think uh, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. 
Okay, good. Continue. Um, Rodrigo González. Um, yeah, how, tell me. How, how do you feel telling people what to do? Uh, really, I enjoy it. Okay, Rodrigo, continue. Okay. Uh, I can see the other guys in my screen, but here I'm just looking for someone. I think uh, that Henry... Mail in poca sangre? Yes. How do you feel about working with uh, numbers? I enjoy it. Uh, um, David, how do you feel about the public speaking? To me? Yes, David oh, Martinez Jimenez. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, I think um, I hate it. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. <laughs> good job. So, um uh, let's move to the next presentation. So um okay, we have something here and we have a video in the platform about unreleased and released uh, these two sounds. Okay, so we're going to watch the video and see what is it about. Let's see. Hi everyone, we want you to get better on your pronunciation. Please listen and practice as many times as you need to. Pronunciation. Unreleased and released. T and D. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice when the sound T or D at the end of a word is followed by a consonant, it is unreleased. When it is followed by a vowel sound, it is released. Unreleased. She's not good at math and science. I hate working on Sundays. You need to manage money well. Released. He's not a good artist. They really hate it. I need a cup of coffee. On your own, complete the following sentences and say them out loud. Watch your pronunciation. Remember, the more you practice, the better you get. Okay, so uh, this is basically um, uh, just a practice, uh, pronunciation practice that you can do following the examples that you have in the platform. And this is it, like um, when the sound are followed by consonant or, or two consonants are put together, the sound is like unreleased, right? And it's released when there is a consonant and after that it's a vowel, so that is called released. And uh, yes, this is the same that you have there. You have to write these sentences and practice them at home. You can do it that as well. And remember that you can play the recording, repeat, play it again and repeat. And as much as you practice, the better you get with your pronunciation. 
And the next one is uh, the video vocabulary about personality traits. Um, is that word clear for you? Personality traits. No. Have you heard that word before? No. 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 Does anybody know what's meaning of that? Like traits is like um, uh, personality traits are the things that describe you personality. Es como rasgos. La forma de ser su personalidad, rasgos de personalidad. That is the word trait mean. And let's see, we're going to watch this one too, right? Four, a relative. Hey, what's wrong? I'm fed up with my brother. It seems as if he's always angry at me about something. Really? Yeah, he gets upset so e Hello, which of these adjectives are positive? Which are negative? Listen, repeat, and decide. Listen and repeat. Bad-tempered. Creative. Critical. Disorganized, efficient, forgetful, generous, hardworking, impatient, level headed, moody, punctual, reliable, strict. Now get ready to listen to four conversations. Then check the adjective that best describes each person. Listen to four conversations, then check the adjective that best describes each person. 1. A boss. How do you like your new boss? She's okay. I just wish she'd learn to lighten up a little. What do you mean? Oh, she never enjoys a joke. She never laughs. It's hard to even get a smile out of her. 2. A co-worker. Look what Mary gave me. Isn't this a great book? Yeah, it is. Mary's so sweet. She's always giving her friends and co-workers presents. I wish there were more people like her in this world. 3. A teacher. What do you think of the new French teacher? Well, she's kind of strange. She's in a good mood one minute and in a terrible mood the next. 4. A relative. Hey, what's wrong? I'm fed up with my brother. It seems as if he's always angry at me about something. Really? Yeah, he gets upset so easily. I don't know what's the matter with him. Okay, so that was the video about personality traits. I'm sure that some of you have seen the video before the class when you were working on the platform, but I would like to know if you have any question about this. No questions? Uh, I have one. Uh, what does moody means okay this is um the chart that you saw in the platform and you have it also in the powerpoint presentation we have some vocabulary here about personality traits that we have defined that word como rasgos de personalidad that is trait is rasgos and moody in this case is a person that uh, well, nowadays it has a, a very, very, very known word that is bipolar, right? <laughs> that would be moody yeah. referred to a person who um, right now is really, really happy and cheerful. And then in the next few minutes is really upset, angry, and then is happy again. Yes, it's a moody person. Or oh, it's like uh, bipolar. 
Yes, some, oh. yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Teacher, what is the meaning for reliable? Uh, reliable is like trustworthy. Es alguien en que usted puede delegar y puede confiar en que esta persona va a, um, a hacer o a encargarse bien de lo que usted le ha encargado. Es confiable. It's trustworthy. Any other Thank questions? You. You're welcome. Any other question or new vocabulary? Uh, what it means, level header? Level header would be like a person como engreída. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, any other one? In short temper? Short tempered is like, uh, and it's not very patient. Se enojan rapidito. Los que les decimos de mecha corta. corta. Uh -huh. ah, okay. Got it. Thank you. Okay. Any other? Any other one? No, teacher. Okay. So if okay, so let us repeat creative. 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 Critical. 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 Disorganized. Disorganized. Efficient. 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 Forgetful. Forgetful. Generous. 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 Hardworking. Hardworking. Impatient. Impatient. Level headed. Level headed. Moody. 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 Punctual. 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 Reliable. Reliable. Short tempered. Short tempered. Short -tempered. -tempered. Strict. 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 Okay, so in this one I got confused. Uh, level headed is una persona como juiciosa, que piensa las cosas, no se deja llevar, las analiza, es como una persona nivelada, level level headed. The other one, sí, like sí, I was sí. saying, is big headed, right? Big headed, si es una persona engreída. Level headed. Yes. <laughs> Son dos diferentes. Es, es, tienen algún but yeah, yeah. Level, level headed is una persona bien sensata, que piensa bien level las sí. cosas, es nivelado en sus pensamientos. Ah, no es de es que estoy en una clase de inglés y se me había olvidado. A las, a las siete y a las ocho ya. Ok, so. In this, smile, smile. Okay, time for break. Ok, sorry, you have questions? No? A short temper es como de mecha corta, no. Mm -hmm. Ok. Any other question? No okay, so uh, the exercise here is to um, qualify the adjectives into positive with a P or negative with a N. If you have printed the material, you can do it now, but we are going to do it just um, here, like, like creative, positive. What do you think about critical? Is it positive or negative? Negative. Negative. My point of view is positive. Positive. Negative. Positive. That is the pain of the person. Maybe positive. Some person all uh, critical negative form. Mm -hmm. it, it depends, right? It can be positive sometimes, can be negative, right? For me, it's negative. 
Okay. Now, what about disorganized? Negative. 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 Ahí sí si no hay puede ser o depende ah. de. <laughs> That's negative. Efficient? Positive. 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 Yes. Forgetful? Negative. 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 Generous? Positive. 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 Yes. Hardworking? Positive. 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 Impatient? Negative. 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 Level headed? Positive. 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 Moody? Negative. Punctual? Positive. 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 Reliable? Positive. Positive. Short tempered. Negative. 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 Strict. Positive. Positive. Mm, uh, maybe. Yeah, it, it can be yes. both. Yes, in some cases it, it is good to be strict. Like uh, as parent, it's good to be strict, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But in some cases, no. it's, it's not good. No, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now, um, what of these uh, personality traits describes you? In my case, I can say that I'm, I'm punctual, I'm reliable, mm, and... Uh, Forget <laughs> what about two you? positive, one negative. <laughs> it's good, it's good. I am forgetful. <laughs> Me too. We need some vitamins. <laughs> okay, and the rest of you, what are your personality traits? Reliable. You're reliable. Yes, reliable, creative, impatient, impatient. Creative, impatient. Impatient. Oh, okay, good. I think for me, it's efficient and hardworking. And maybe sometimes disorganized. Disorganized. Disorganized, okay. <laughs> good. Not Thank you so much. Thank you. Not all the time. Yeah. <laughs> in, my case, in my case, uh, generous, hardworking, punctual, yeah. and impatient. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Uh, okay, anybody else? In my case, teacher, I am critical, hardworking, sometimes impassioned, and I always try to be punctual. Okay, right. Good job. Impatient. Ah. I tend to be impatient, but just when it comes to wait. I'm not good at waiting for something to happen right now. No, I'm not patient with that. <laughs> I can be patient when teaching and some other things, but when it comes to wait, I'm not patient. <laughs> I'm very, very, really impatient. So, good. And the rest of you? Teacher, I have a, a question. Mm -hmm. for, for example, in, in the... Impatient is the same thing that you are in a uh, in a fila de un banco, and when you are waiting something, it's the same the same word to classify some person. For example, uh, uh, yeah, because it is like the same when it comes to wait for something. You're like you're in a queue in a bank. Yeah, you're standing in a queue, standing in line in a bank. Right. It's like, oh ah, my okay. God, yes. Is that the same word? Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, any other question, comments? 
um, you know, we are, um, uh, as human beings, we have a lot of, lot of things to say about your, ourselves and to talk about personality traits. And I remember once they asked me in an interview for a job interview, what are your personality traits? Mm -hmm. So it is good to have uh, plenty of vocabulary. Yeah, so try to practice and uh, you cannot describe yourself with three words, right? Ahorita sí por, por cuestión de tiempo, ¿verdad? Pero si algún día les toca que, and you go to an interview and they ask you, what are your personality traits? Try to say no less than five, okay? So uh, increase your vocabulary, practice it. And that's why it is important and, and it's good for you to learn new vocabulary in every class and put it into practice. Okay, so, ah, and there was a listening exercise you remember in the platform? We saw it in the video. It was this one. We listened to four conversations and you were supposed to check the adjective that best describes each person. You can do this exercise in your notebook. You just need to write number one, two, three, four. And then you write the adjective that describes that person. You're not going to listen the exact adjective in the conversation, right? So I'm going to play the audio twice for you to write about, uh, well, we have a boss, a coworker, a teacher, and a relative. So there are four different conversations and you have, for example, in the first one, what is the best word that describes this boss that they are talking about? Is it creative, forgetful, or serious? Remember that serious. you're not going to listen the adjective as it is. You will listen to the, this, the description of that word or adjective. Is that clear? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, totally clear. Yes. So I'm going yes. to play the audio twice and you try to complete the exercise in your notebook can be. Ay, la respuesta le iba a poner. Page 67, exercise eight. Word power, personality traits, part C. Listen to four conversations, then check the adjective that best describes each person. One, a boss. How do you like your new boss? She's okay. I just wish she'd learn to lighten up a little. What do you mean? Oh, she never enjoys a joke. She never laughs. It's hard to even get a smile out of her. Two, a co-worker. Look what Mary gave me. Isn't this a great book? Yeah, it is. Mary's so sweet. She's always giving her friends and co-workers presents, and she's so helpful with her time. Three, a teacher. What do you think of the new French teacher? Well, she's kind of strange. She's happy one minute, and the next minute she's not. Four, a relative. Hey, what's wrong? I'm fed up with my brother. It seems like he's always angry at me about something. Really? Yeah, he gets upset so easily. I don't know what's the matter with him. Did you get all the answers? Yes. 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 Yeah. Everybody? Yes, teacher. Excellent. So there is no need to play it again. No. 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 Okay. Very good. good. So what do you have in number one? Serious. 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 Okay. In number two? Generous. 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 And in number three? Moody. Moody. Oh, no. And Moody. number four? Short temper. Short temper. Short temper. Okay, let's check your answers. 
Number one, serious. Number two, generous. Number three, moody. And number four, short tempered. Awesome. <laughs> you did an excellent yes. job. Okay. Okay, so let's see what do we got next. Oh, we were here. Okay. So we did these two exercises. And when we're going to move to the next slide, we have clauses with because. This is kind of simple. We're going to watch the video and then we're going to practice an exercise here. Okay. Hi, are you ready to introduce a cause or a reason? Stay with us and see how the word because is used. Clauses with because. The word because introduces a cause or reason. I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I'm very impatient. I could never be a stockbroker because I can't make decisions quickly. Ready to listen to the explanation of the use of because? Because is a conjunction that can connect two independent clauses in one sentence. Let's point out that the clause starting with because can come either before or after the main clause. It is okay to say, because I'm good at writing, I would make a good journalist, or I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. Now pay attention on the use of a comma in the first example. No comma is used, however, when because is in the middle of a sentence. Don't forget, the word because answers the question why. Follow the example so you may work on your own. I couldn't be a singer because I have a funny voice. I would be a good teacher because I'm patient. Now tell us why or why not you would or could be a good president an actor or an actress? Please share your responses on our discussion box. Okay, now about this, you have any question, any doubt, something that is not really clear? No questions? Okay, so if you don't have any question, we can continue here with this exercise. Um, now, we have these completed sentences in column A with the appropriate information from column B and then we're going to compare your answers. I'll give you some time for you to read and think in the answers and match.
Have you finished? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so number one, I think you stay easy. Yes, a volunteer for number one? Me. Okay, Jenny? Me, teacher. I, I wouldn't want to be a nurse because I don't, I don't like hospital. Okay. A. Excellent. Number two? Me, teacher. Okay, Andrea. I like to be a novelist because I love creative writing. Okay, you love creative writing. Excellent. Thank you so much. Number three, volunteer. Me, Me teacher. teacher. Uh, Maria? Oh, who was it? Okay. I could never be an accountant because I'm terrible with numbers. Letter F. Okay, excellent job. Thanks. Number five. Me teacher. Me. Ah. I go to make a bad waiter because I have a terrible memory. Let her see. <laughs> Very good. Next. Hoy que alguien más quería participar. Me, I okay. could be a full attendant because I really enjoy travel. Better be. Excellent. And the last one. The last one. Me, teacher. Okay. I never work a cross ship because I get seasick very easily. Okay, good job. Is there any question about this exercise? Yes, I have a question. What mm -hmm. is the meaning for seasick? Okay, the word seasick refers to the feeling that you feel like dizzy because of the movement or the motion of a ship. Es ese mareo, hay gente que le produce náuseas o mareo el movimiento de los barcos en el océano. Mm -hmm. Es mareo y náusea producida por ese motion. Mm -hmm. Any other question? No more questions? No. Okay, this topic is kind of easy, right? So this not much to do in regards of this. So with this, we are finishing oh, no. uh, <laughs> basically the platform, but we still have to work on the reviews. We have, uh, well, I sent you the presentation for the review about a topic that we, um, you told me yesterday. So, let me share my screen so we can start with this review. Uh, this is like um, a review that we're going to do the, with the short questions like, so do I, so am I. So we're going to practice on this. And this is very similar to tag questions. You remember tag questions? Do you remember? Question, I remember. No? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, no? The, okay, the ones who remember the tax questions, can you tell me what, how, how do they work or what they are used for? No? No. Okay, um, I'm going to share the, the board. <laughs> okay, the tag questions work like, um, let's see. Okay, this is a tag question. 
if I am, I'm telling something like I'm going to turn off my fan because <laughs> it's causing interruption. So if I say, Cruella is a great movie, isn't it? That that question here is, isn't it? Yeah, I, I am sure you have studied this topic before. Yes, ya lo habían estudiado, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay, so las tag questions se usan como para, eh, es una manera de, de preguntarle o, o de provocar que usted responda si está de acuerdo con mi opinión. Entonces, yo le digo uh, uh, a mi ver, right, a mi parecer, Cruella is a great movie, it's fantastic, I really like it. Entonces, yo le digo, Cruella is a great movie, isn't it? O entonces, como decirle, ¿verdad? En español lo que hacemos es decir, ¿verdad? Es como, estaba chiva la película, ¿verdad? La otra, ah, sí. <risa> Para eso son las tag questions. Y um, bueno, es, vamos a hacer otro ejemplo. Yes. Uh, ay, ¿Por qué dejo de escribir? Why? Okay, so it can be like that. If you see these examples, I enjoy going to the beach. Do you? I don't recall what was the meaning about. Do you? So es como decir, eh, yo disfruto ir a la playa. ¿Y tú? Eh, no recuerdo eh, de qué era la, 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 de qué era la, y esta cosa aquí, que dice aquí, dije yo, es que he metido una meeting. <risa> I don't recall what was the meaning about, do you? So, yo no me acuerdo, ¿y tú? So the tag question serves to, es como para provocar, es decir, me, me dé usted esa información que yo necesito, o para que me diga si está o no está de acuerdo conmigo, y eh, funcionan así. Si la tag question es con el verb be, Um, per, perdón si la oración o lo que yo estoy diciendo es con el verbo to be, la tag question va a ir con el verbo to be si es en presente simple presente simple nos referimos cuando es cualquier otro verbo que no sea el to be entonces usamos el auxiliar do, pues si es negativa eh, eh, don't podemos usarlo aquí, estoy haciendo una oración negativa y estoy haciendo la tag question siempre con el auxiliar de presente simple y lo mismo con cualquier auxiliar. In that case, we can answer, eh, so do I, or neither I am. Uh, eso es, ajá. Uh -huh. the, the answer for that, eh, that question. Or could be used. Mm -hmm. Ok. Uh, es para, ajá, uh -huh. más o menos así funcionan también. Uh, si ustedes ven aquí la afirmación que yo estoy diciendo, I can sing very well. Can you? Yo puedo cantar muy bien. Y tú, tú también puedes. Puedes tú. So, es, es, va como haciendo un juego. Si es con verbo to be, la tag question va con el be. Si es presente simple, la tag question va con do, does, don't, dependerá, ¿verdad? Si es con auxiliar can, la tag question es con can. Si es con have, la tag question es con have también. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yes. Hey. Ya se recordaron de ese tema. 
<ríe> más o menos. Está relacionado o es bien similar a, a esto que estaba mencionando la compañera, a las short answers. Okay, so the short answers, in this case, we're going to start with, so do I, and neither do I. Uh, can somebody help me to read? I can. Okay, thank you. So do I and neither do I. We use so do I to say that a, that a possible sentence is also true for me. And we use neither do I is say that a negative sentence is also true, true for us. John, I hate, I hate mushrooms. Me, so do I. I also hate mushrooms. Lucy, I don't like I don't live in London. Me, neither do I. I also don't live in London. For example, for example, maybe Lucy and I both live in Paris. This is often used as reply to someone else in a conversation, but both sentences can also be said by the same person and even join it together. Continue. Me, Elizabeth loves coffee. So do I. So do I. Harry doesn't play the piano and neither do I. In the examples above, we use do because the first sentence in the present simple tense. The verb after, so or neither change depending on the tense of the verb in the first sentence. This is very similar to question. Thank you so much, Maria. So, uh, questions here? This is like an explanation on how does it work, okay? So, if there are no questions, we can move to the next slide. Um, a volunteer to read here? My teacher. Okay. Present simple, simple. Use do does. Lucky likes coffee, so do I. Lucy doesn't uh, doesn't like coffee, neither do I. Present simple with be. Use am um, is are. Jones Jones as the office. So am I. John is sent at the office. Neither am I. Present continues. Use am um, is are. Looks going to, going to out tonight. So am I. Luke isn't going out tonight. Neither am I. Past simple. Use did. Jill went to the cinema yesterday, so did I. Jill didn't go to the cinema yesterday, neither did I. Past simple with be, use was, where. She was at the library, so was I. She wasn't at the library, neither was I. Present perfect, use have or has. They have, they've been the, to Colombia. So have I, they haven't been to Colombia. Neither have I. Future simple, use will. Edward will be at the, coffee later so will i edward won't be at the coffee later neither will i modal verbs repeat the modal verb he would like a cup a, cu a cup of tea so would i he wouldn't like a cup of tea neither would i emma can speak russian so can I. 
Emma can't speak Russian, neither can I. Thank you so much for helping us to read that slide. So this is basically what I, uh, what I was explaining, right? So if the verb is um, with simple present, we use do or does. If it is simple present with verb be, we use am, um, is, are. Uh, the same for present continuous. If it is simple past, we use the auxiliary for simple past, which is did. If we use a model or a verb like has or can, we answer using the same auxiliary. Is, is this one very clear for you or you need me to explain more? Teacher, this is like, ni uh, yo tampoco. Ah, that's yeah. correct. Uh -huh. And me in the, uh, in the last part, neither can I, how can trans translate? Yo tampoco puedo. Ah, okay, okay, thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Any other question? Okay, so we will continue if there are no more questions. Uh, about two and either. Who wants to help me with this one? About two and either. Can I repeat? Yes. Okay. What about to and either? We can also use I do too and I don't either, which mean the same as so do I and neither do I. John, I hate mushroom, me. I do too. I also hate mushroom. Lucy, I don't live in London. Me, I don't either. I also don't live in London. The verb changes in the same way as with so do I and neither do I. Remember, you need a negative verb with either. Present simple. John's at the office. I am too. Present continuous. Luke isn't going out tonight. I'm not either. Present perfect. They've been to Colombia. I have two modal verbs. Emma can't speak Russian. I can either. Me too and me neither. We can also use me too and me neither. Me too has the same meaning as so plus auxiliary verb plus I and me neither has the same meaning as neither plus auxiliary verb plus I. Me too and me neither are very informal. Young, I hate mushroom. Me, me too. I also hate mushroom. Lucy, I don't like living in London. Me, me neither. I also don't like live in London. Live in London. Okay, very good. Thank you so much for reading, Maria. So uh, this is about to and either, but also we have this other word, neither. So you know how to use neither and either. What is the difference between either and neither? Okay, so we have either and neither. What is the difference? I think either I need to use um, uh, the the word not or some negative and neither don't need not I think exactly that is the correct answer yes and there is another difference uh, this, it has to do with the placement yes so but we're going to um, practice ahorita definimos un poco Verdad, hicimos un refresh, but on Monday we're going to practice and do more exercises with this. Um, so, if you have any questions before we finish, I know you're tired. It's Thursday, so <laughs> enjoy your weekend and be safe. See you on Monday.
Okay. Thank you, Thank teacher. You. Bye. See you Monday. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.